Now that Vincent Joe is COVID free, not a single member of the U.S. delegation is in quarantine. The closed loop continues to work. Before the games, against the background of a global uh, pandemic, we understand for sure that there will be imported cases. The games are still going on, and uh, we are optimistic, but we still need to be very careful. The numbers show the closed loop is keeping people inside the bubble safe. But just like in Tokyo, hosting a COVID games is placing a heavy financial burden on the host country. The Taiwu Ski Resort looks like it was frozen in time. It should be bustling with skiers and shoppers and diners. Instead, it sits empty. On a day we paid a visit, only one restaurant was open for members of the media who could get there. And its servers wore hazmat suits. China's operating budget for the Beijing Games is just over $3 billion. The government will compensate resort owners who have been forced to shut down. But this was supposed to be a showcase for Beijing and a boon for its businesses. Clearly, that's not the case. In Beijing, I'm Jack Doles reporting.